Okay, uh, this tutorial will um, help you to create uh, whatever templates, uh, whatever graphics or images that you want to laser etch onto the bottom of your skateboard veneer. Um, what we need to do is we need to set up um, so we have the right measurements of our board on our screen. So to do that, I'm just going to go start off with a trick board. So we'll go File New. Let's call it Trick Trick Board Etching. Uh, make sure on your one you put your name. So when I have the files, I'll know it's yours. Uh, we're going to go a custom. We need to change everything to millimeters and pixels per centimeter. Now the width will be how long your board is. So a trick board we have is 800. The height will be the thick, uh, thickness, so it will be 250. And the resolutions will always be 100 pixels per centimeter. So we'll go OK to that. So this white rectangle here represents the size of our trick board veneer that we're going to cut out. Now you can search for your images on Google Drive. Um, I'm just looking at some digital style line drawing camo patterns. Um, however, you need to make sure that in your search tools you type in line drawing um, as the laser can only etch those type of images. So once you have your image, your selected image that you want, save it onto your desktop. Um, what I want to do because I've got a pattern is I want to structure the tiles every so often. So I'm going to open up my pattern now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, is grab the select tool and go over the whole image. Go copy, so edit, copy, go back to my um, skateboard and go edit, paste. As you can see, that image is too small. So what I want to do is go edit, free transform, hold the shift key, and I'm just going to drag it right up to the top and right down to the bottom. Now I'll position it so it's right on the edge and then just hit the tick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that process by pasting it in, free transforming. So I've just gone Command V to paste, Command T to free transform, right up to the top, right up to the bottom and then drag it in. As you can see, when we're starting to repeat the process, okay, we're starting to fill our board. So Command T. Judging by the space, it looks like I'm probably going to need one more. So Command V, Command T, right to the top, right to the bottom. Drag it right across so it sort of clicks in and then hit enter or the little tick at the top. Alright, so once you've got the pattern, you can do a few things to this. Um, we can grab the rectangle tool. We can make sure that our fill is white and our stroke, let's make it black. So it's going to have a black border to it. Now I can use my little rulers on the side and the top to work out where that rectangle is going to sit. If you don't have the rulers, you just right click inside um, or you go view, rulers and get it up. If you don't have millimeters, you just right click and you get millimeters up. So what I want to do is if my trick board is 250, um, I'm thinking about going from 50 in. 100 and 200 in, so 50 in and 200 in, I'm getting that by the rulers. I'm just going to drag my box right across to be 600 and then we want 200. So it's going to give me 50 mil on the width. Alright, so this allows me some space that I can put some text. So I'll make sure the color on that text is black. Alright, so I can put some text in here. 
whatever writing that I want to put. All right, so spend the time, make sure your trick board is exactly how you want it. Uh, and then the next tutorial, I'll show you how to save that.